So that's how we do that stuff. That's basically what's going on in the back end. Let me talk about executors a little bit. I get a lot of questions from people about um, Rx Java, async task, basically just concurrency, asynchronous operations. A really simple way to handle this is to use the Java executors framework. You don't need a third party library. This is part of the Java standard library. Um, this will be part of the Kotlin standard library by extension. Although in Kotlin, I would just use coroutines, don't get me wrong. Uh, but basically, this is a really easy way you can perform operations on a background thread and then call back to the main thread. Um, this should probably just be two threads. So this executors framework, um, it's basically one step of abstraction over just using Java threads. Using Java threads, you can do that, but it's kind of a little bit too low level. Um, we're not writing C code here, so we don't need to get that low level. So I find it to be a good medium ground there. And it, you know, I could have another thing like a background. I could make another th thread like network, something like that. Um, now, the important thing here is when we want to get a background thread, we call executors, which is part of the uh, um, the library here. Um, we call executors.new fix thread pool or whatever we want to do. When we want to get the main thread, we need to get a, a hook to the Android's main looper and then we wrap that in a handler. And what we're able to do then is this is how we, for example, let's look at a direct example here. First, we call ex executors. So exec is one of my application executors. That's what it is. Um, first, we call that. We get the background thread or executor. And then we execute our asynchronous code. And then after we're done making that um, background computation or whatever we need to do, then we call executors.get main thread. And this is how we jump back onto the main thread. And then we do our callback. to the front end of the application using that continuation uh, interface I showed you earlier. So this is a super lightweight. We don't have to piss around with Rx Java or anything really complicated here. This is a simple application. We just don't need that level of complexity. And it makes it hopefully easier for people learning. Um, although admittedly, it, it can be a bit difficult to understand that we're starting on the main thread we jump onto the background thread, then we jump back onto the main thread. That's not easy, but the truth is that concurrent programming isn't easy in general. Uh, it's probably the most complicated problem in computing.